while, Demetrius Meech Holloway made more money than anybody. The day Demetrius got killed, we started off by going to the stash house, picking up some bricks to sell that day. I had picked up two. I went and sold one, then I took the other one and started breaking it down and went to French Road. Later on that day, about, I would say it was about 2 o'clock, my man came by and said, hey, Eddie, I need two keys. This is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I called D. He said, hey, we can go to the stash house and get them now. While I bring them down to the 19th hole with me, you just come pick them up from the 19th hole. I said, D, I can wait for you just to get down to the 19th hole and fall and come grab them now. Now, in between that time, it's 2 o'clock now. Somehow, he winds up going to the Broadway. So when he catch a cab, it's a salesman who was working on the Broadway, who was working for niggas who was beefing with Demetrius. And when the salesman heard that D was coming, he went ahead on and called out the niggas to do the hit. Chictawaga Strip Club now stands accused of a number of crimes as federal prosecutors investigate the possible resurgence of Yeah, BA Streets Daily. Yeah, uh, hey yo, uh. You never been convicted and sent to prison and had to sit behind bars Left to reminisce about your friends and loved ones But it's just punishment and you know that come with the streets It's just some of the consequences we gotta live with when we dealing drugs I remember when I used to get a script for Percocet and one for Xanax bars Then split them up with whichever bitch I end up with after they close the bar And if she let me fuck, I'ma let her have them all I'm from where the young boys can either play basketball or make plays moving crack by the ball The same place semi-automatics done involve now the stick got a switch that I can flip on and off And if this 556 five, hit one of y'all you would do a somersault I jumped off the porch early ain't stayed at my mama's long I raised myself in the streets in front of my grandma's And it would look like the traffic block it'd be so many damn cars But I always knew we had potential to become stars This for them and the ones who earned scars or sat behind bars I'm from where you might catch a murder charge playing seven cars I seen little boys learn to use triple beams at 11 So what the hell going to Sand Hills gonna do for them? I'm even lucky to be standing here And every day I thank the Lord for it And y'all just looking at it as another shoot And I avoid it, nigga Yeah, uh Yeah Uh-huh I keep the bit with me, nigga Come and get me B8 Come and get me Crazy Streets daily. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whole shit is just the law. A break in the law that's just too much for us niggas to ever ignore And it ain't about the money cause I stacked up 20s in Bisco years ago I just like the feeling I get from being outside with the coke your clear cloudy, mine look like I bust the windshield up And what I write and record just like my life You the one living the life you made up And on right, I recall how my days and nights go They say we need to have kids so we can continue life Then again, they say slow down the way we live and so we can cherish life So am I right when I think through my kids I get to see it twice and if I'm wrong Then what the fuck would the advice for? I'd rather continue living my life how I want Selling white, fitting all an off-white coat for a better outcome, nigga Yeah, uh yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck this. Crazy. He said, would you take this hit? And I agreed to do it. I never did a hit before. And uh, we had it planned out perfect. When he came up, we went out, opened up the, the front. Yeah. It was a two-door yeah. car. And he said, Sammy, don't sit behind me. Sit next to me behind Tom. And Frankie sat behind him. We were driving down the block. I took uh, 38 out, I pulled the trigger and I hit him in the head. They didn't do anything, didn't even move. I didn't know what the fuck happened, I hit him again. Now his body shook uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. you could smell the uh -huh. fucking powder in the, in the air. Uh -huh. I told Tommy, I said, open the door and kick him out. But I opened up the door, I picked him up, I put one arm around his neck.
neck and one arm around his legs. Put him on the grass in front of this house. Got in the car. I closed the door. I opened the window. I put the gun out and I shot him three more times in the back just to make sure he's dead. Come and get me. Uh-huh. BA Streets Daily. A product of my environment. I mean, when yeah. I had my daughter, I said, man, I gotta at least try uh -huh. something for her. Hey yo, yeah. back when I was in the trenches with the product, the stick of kids ain't never come through and try to rob us. I guess cause they knew I was gonna get them shot up. I'm from the blocks where the Hispanics are hanging out college before you get any offer from a college. So by the time the scouts come around, you be doing time at high rise and mortgaging, confined to closed custody. So now those basketball goals just become folklore and old stories. Suppose we did go to war against Russia and they started drafting us no matter our age or color. Would you rather fight and die for this country or go to prison, turn Islamic and live life suffering? Some of us will accept the bid still cause we got a driving wheel that's stronger than normal. I remember the first time I committed a violent crime. I just remember feeling high and euphoric off the adrenaline rush I got from it. I still remember the look he had in his eyes when he realized I had him cornered. And if I hadn't looked and caught a glimpse of Akeem and John coming around the corner, I probably would have caught murder charges, nigga. Yeah. You shooting dice, right? Uh. Yep. Um, how much do you win that game? I was like 7,000. Uh. I was walking off. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I got hit up. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I thought I was dead, for sure. Yeah, man, that's the damn, man. I was, and I wasn't scared. I was sorry. We all product of our environment. And I know you're proud of it, but that don't mean we gotta die in it. Yeah. But I feel like, damn, I got stuff to offer. They don't even know that I got stuff to offer. We all product of our environment. And I was just salty yeah. like that. We all product of our environment. I know you're proud of it, but that don't mean we gotta die in it. And when I seen a lady cop yeah. come and she was crying, you know what I said, damn, I'm about to die. Yeah, you know I mean, that's how you get real cool. It was June 27th, this uh -huh. daytime, hot as shit. So I was cool as shit, you know what I mean? I was like, damn, man, it's shit over. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Talking to Magic, a lot of young boys, they get killed. I thought he'd be like, damn, why the day? You know what I mean? Just like, you mean you ain't got no, no plans on that happening to you. Uh-huh. Streets daily, nigga. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That shit crazy. Uh huh. Hey yo. Uh, it's like every other day someone I know pass away, shot dead in broad day or overdose off them thirties that was fitting all lace. Now that's how dirty the dope game done became. It's not worth it no more. Niggas don't put death before this honor no more. They just happen to take this by pointing in your direction in court. Even though you've been close with each other since 11 years old and did everything together when you was little boys. So how come you break the rules and codes and start telling the fools in the blue clothes how we used to rent apartment through holes but never move in. We just go there to fuck them and use the stove. What they offer you five years lower to switch sides and become disloyal so you know how this shit going someone gonna get killed for it someone you love and got feelings for that's just drug business laws the first one you should have learned before you got involved nigga yeah uh uh-huh yeah yeah uh-huh Streets daily, nigga. I'm gonna say it since nobody else don't want to say it. Y'all putting too much motherfucking shit in the weed for me. Taking 20 motherfucking minutes to roll a blunt. And I look over there and you putting different shit in the blunt. Bouncing around off the motherfucking wall. And then all of a sudden here you go, shit, I don't want that motherfucking blunt. You got everything in that motherfucking thumb blunt. Voodoo dust, coke. Pill, I don't want it. Then you feel some kind of way when I don't want to smoke this shit. No, nigga, I want to be right here on Earth, nigga. No, I'm not trying to go to the motherfucking moon like that, bro. No, no, I'm not finna do it. You niggas really crackheads don't even motherfucking know it, man. Nigga just hit the house, get twitching and shit. Who they got there? Nigga, ain't nobody out there but the motherfucking wind, nigga. Nah, man, shit, that's why I don't want to smoke with you, nigga. So it's not that I don't like you. No, you putting too much in the motherfucking weed for me. And I can't do it. I can't sit around here and look at you get out of spook and run around the house and crawl and tell my people after you. Man, come on, man. You a grown-ass man talking about somebody watching you 
Ain't nobody in the fucking house but you and the roaches. That's who watching you, little motherfucking roaches. So let's get back to the, the real weed smoking. You know, just regular weed and the cush or whatever. But all this extra white powdery stuff and ingredients and other little old rat turd dropping like y'all dropping in the blunt. I don't want none of that motherfucking shit down. So if you putting that shit in your blunt, don't bring it to me. If I don't see you roll that motherfucker, I'm not smoking it. It's plain and simple for me. Come on, man. Let's do better. Niggas out here goddamn selling goddamn batteries out that car. Brand new battery, nigga, just selling it. Don't know why. It's that fucking dope. It's that fucking dope, y'all smoking. Nigga, it's that pressure. That ain't that more than motherfucking pressure. You smoking, nigga. You damn near, you damn near dead and don't even know it. See, don't come around me with that shit. I don't, I don't want it. I, I, I ain't gonna smoke it. Do you hear me? I ain't gonna smoke it. And to you niggas out here with these poor ass motherfucking horses, you going to jail. That's animal cruelty what y'all doing to these motherfucking animals, man. Ain't no motherfucking way your goddamn animal goddamn look like a German shepherd. A full grown horse look like a German shepherd. Man, y'all need to cut that bullshit out. And you know with these dogs, y'all be having them fake ass paper. Man, this just that bloodline. No, it ain't bitch. You went there made that shit up on the fucking internet. Trying to sell me this mixed breed for 5000 Bitch, I kid. Got me fucked up. You in the most fragile ass dog. Nigga, bought, bought a dog a couple weeks ago. Soon I got home, the dog died. Nigga, told me he had all this shot dog and had a motherfucking me, me, da, da. Hello, the Colombians. We take risks. I'm always for the listeners. You guarantee your delivery. Say as far as Panama. We take for granted. And I'm risky. Cost me more. And I can sell for 13 dollars Forget about that thing, right? But the use hey, is reasonable. Hey, yeah. Mm. I was always fascinated by how fast cash came off a of crack, so I just started exchanging it faithfully every day for Washington's and Franklin's to the point police had started sending in undercovers with more bills, hoping one of us was desperate enough to take it. But none of us in BAC are nothing to new faces, cause they be the ones the cop used to start building cases. We go by the rules and raise our children not to break them. So by the time our kids in middle school, they already know without evidence they can beat most charges and end up with probation. And no matter what us parents do or how good we raise them, it's just something about the hood that they become attached to and can't break. It. And it's like being in the streets, they just have to daily I read today in Matthews that if I thirst for righteousness My cup will be full and I plan on drinking it I let the devil conquer me for years And I was covered in sin, my spirit was evil My soul was cold and my heart and mind was full of revenge But I've gotten rid of all my demons Hidden deep within, yeah Yeah, nigga, crazy Motherfucker Boom, boom, walk right out, 